It's been a while since we had last taken a look at Klein, but we're finally back to cover all the major updates from the past month. My last deep dive was around the version 3.4 release, but since then, this autonomous AI coding agent has seen insane progress. I've even covered a small release on the second channel, and now we've gotten more new features. Today, we're diving into Klein 4.0. This is an update that wraps up all the recent improvements including new model providers, agentic AI modes, a redesigned UX, and much more. If you're new here, Klein is an autonomous coding agent that lives directly within your IDE, whether that's VS Code, Windsurf, or even Cursor. It can create and edit files, run commands, browse the web, and automate your entire dev workflow. So with that, let's jump right to it. But before we get started with today's video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Mammoth AI. If you're jumping between different AI tools every single day, let me save you some serious time as Mammoth brings all of them together in one place. Now, when I said you have access to all the models, you actually do because you have so many different text models, image models, web searching models, as well as reasoning models. If you need stunning visuals, Mammoth also taps into top tier image generation models like Midjourney, Dolly, and Stable Diffusion where you can get these beautiful images generated within a couple of seconds. And here's where it gets powerful. Set up your own custom mammoth with tailored context giving it everything it needs to support you effectively on your projects. It's like having a personal AI assistant that actually understands what you're working on. On top of all this, you have so much more like image and file upload, one click reprompting, multi devices, AI web search, vocal chat, and then lastly, Project Mammoth. All of that for just $10 a month. Yes, you heard me right, just $10 a month. No extra charges, no switching tabs, just pure AI power in one single place. Use the link in the description below to get started with Mammoth AI. But with that thought, let's dive right back into today's video. Let's start off with the latest new updates and make our way down to the later releases of this month. First off, we've had this new super handy new feature that was released, which is a favorite toggle mode. When you're using either Klein or OpenRouter as a provider, you can now click on the star icon next to any model to pin it to your top of your list so that it's simple for you to change and switch between your go-to models faster and more intuitively. Klein has now introduced a major performance boost when applying diff edits, especially for files with tons of changes. Whether you're iterating on big projects or making bulk updates, the lag is now gone and the speed is up, so you're going to be noticing snappier responses and smoother workflows all around. You can now see exactly what edits Klein made during each operation. This overall gives you more control and visibility into the coding process, so no more guessing what changed behind the scenes. Overall, there's a major performance boost for applying diff edits, especially for large files. You have an auto approve option that has been added for edits and reads outside your workspace, and this will overall save you a lot of time. There's improved diff editing animations. You're also going to be able to see the number of edits, meaning the edit count indicator will show exactly how many diffs Klein applied to a file. There's an added streaming support and reasoning effort toggle. There's also a settings button right in the MCP popover. So with this particular patch, the 3.12, there's a lot of small features that focus on speed and refinement. Klein has also now integrated new API providers like XAI, which now supports the new Grok3 models, which is awesome. There's also new models from AskSage, Olama, as well as ByteDance Double. There's a couple of new models from Alibaba Quen and even DeepSeek. So you can see that they are increasing the flexibility to use various models and API providers within Klein. Klein has now redesigned checkpoints. It essentially creates checkpoints more frequently throughout your task. These show up as a line indicator on the left edge of the chat. You just need to simply hover over them to expand and view details like the exact time they were created. It's a subtle but powerful way to track your progress and easily rewind if needed. They've also added more robust error tracking for users who've opted into telemetry. This is definitely an underrated feature that not a lot of people actually utilize yet because they don't know about it. But essentially with Klein now, you have this local Chrome integration which you can directly integrate through the extension. 
Essentially, you can now use your own Chrome browser for session-based browsing in Klein. This means debugging and productivity workflows are now directly tied to your actual browser state, which is going to unlock more accurate context-aware interactions with web tools and apps that you're building. It's perfect for real-world dev workflows and advanced automation. Klein can now summarize information from logged in websites and dashboards, which is definitely a game changer, which will use your authenticated browser session. So there's no more copy and pasting from private portals. Klein will just read it directly so you can focus on building instead of bouncing between these different tabs. There is a new YOLO mode within Klein, which gives full autonomy. You can toggle enable all commands in the auto approve settings feature tab, which will put Klein into a YOLO mode and it lets it run without asking for permissions on every action. You should use this wisely because it is powerful and it's something that will execute and use up a lot of tokens if you do not go in and intervene and stop it. Within Klein, there's a smarter file change detection system, which means there's going to be fewer diff errors and more reliable edits. There's also recommended models that will appear during provider setup, making configuration more smoother. There's faster, more accurate file mention search, new relevancy scoring for improved context handling, and support for various sorts of models, and a fix for bomb issues as well as whenever you're working with saved files. What I really like about this new client update is that there's more streamlined workflow enhancements. You can see within this list within their blog is that they have made a lot of new smoother features that make the dev workflow even better. There's easy MCP server management where you can easily manage your connected MCPs directly from the chat input with the new quick access mode. There's a drag and drop context feature where you can add files and folders to your context task list. You can simply just drag and drop them into the chat window. There's also a command plus shortcut feature which will quickly speed up things with a handy shortcut. This is essentially to instantly send selected code or text into the client chat. You have prompt caching for light LLM and Claude as well as smarter context management. There's also this new uh, fix for the MCP auto proof sync feature which is where they have focused on many different bug fixes throughout all of these different releases. And I'm not lying on that because if you look at all the change logs, there's multiple fixes to different sorts of errors that many users have encountered. And this is with a lot of different updates that they have released over this past month. And you can see how much emphasis they put on fixing all these small little features to make Klein smoother as well as something that is easier to work with. Lastly, one subtle thing is that they are continuously adding more MCP servers. So this is also extending the different plugins and tools that you can use within Klein. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically just for today's video on the new 4.0 release. There's a lot more to this, so I definitely recommend that you take a look at all the different releases of all the different small uh, patches that they have dropped. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I'll keep you guys more updated on Klein on the second channel from now on because I don't think it might be useful to post all these smaller updates on this channel. So definitely subscribe to the new channel if you haven't already to get more updates on smaller things as well as faster releases on what is happening with different tools like Klein. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.